We take barbecue very seriously here in Central Texas. So seriously, in fact, that we sent our own Michael Perchik and Chief Photographer Andy v Vaginius, I still can't say his name right, on a barbecue tour of Central Texas using suggestions from you, the viewers. And as you've been following us online, they hit six stops in six different cities. Now, to check out the best sights and sounds, here's their final review. Dream big. Dream barbecue. That was Andy and I's goal in pitching this story to our bosses last month. We wanted to check out some of Central Texas's best barbecue with your help. And you guys responded in a big way, providing over 50 different suggestions. But in the end, six vote getters were clear Snows in Lexington, Milt's Pit Barbecue in Kyle, Style Switch in Austin, John Brotherton Barbecue in Pflugerville, Louis Miller Barbecue in Taylor, and Big Cat Barbecue in Cedar Park. Pork ribs, uh, those are a St. Louis rib. Shane Stiles grew up in Taylor and owned Style Switch. Humbly speaking, there is no better barbecue in the world than what's going on in Austin. And uh, I've recently done a lot of traveling, so I feel pretty confident in that statement. As a Taylor native, he's quite familiar with Louis Miller Barbecue, which feels like a step into another era. We're, we're still a throwback. I mean, we don't have uh, fancy, you know, linens or, you know, we still serve on, you know, lunch trays. And Thank you. These are the best places, I think. The the old ones in the small towns that they've been doing it for years. They know what they're doing. Nearly 70 years after it opened, much of the building's interior and exterior remains untouched, as does some of its famous recipes. On the opposite end of the spectrum is a newcomer, like Big Cat Barbecue in Cedar Park, which has been open for just over a year. Despite its newcomer status, it took home the most votes from our viewers. They can go out in there and enjoy their barbecue. For its owner, James Jones, it's his second career after spending nearly three decades as a paramedic. Paramedic to pitmaster. Couldn't ask for a better life than that. And love being a paramedic, but I love coming every morning and, and, and cooking barbecue and, and seeing the people's faces, enjoying it, and, you know, there's nothing better. Another newcomer drawing a ton of attention. A little beef belly. John Brotherton Barbecue in Pflugerville, a pop-up which has been open twice. I mean, ultimately, I want to open up a restaurant here in town. I mean, that's always been my goal. And number one goal from the start was I wanted to put Pflugerville on the, on the barbecue map. You know, when people talk about good, you know, barbecue cities, that's, that's where I want, I want them to say Pflugerville. The guy can smoke just about anything and make it taste good. Heading south, Milt's Pit Barbecue in Kyle serves as a perfect microcosm of many locally owned Kyle businesses, trying to stay local in the middle of major growth. My first job actually in college was at a small barbecue joint kind of like this and that's when I fell in love with the barbecue business. Um, I actually went to culinary school, was a sous chef to some five-star restaurants out in, out on the East Coast, but uh, barbecue has just been my soul. And of course, no barbecue list is complete without Snow's Barbecue in Lexington and their 81-year-old spark plug of a pit master, Tootsie Tominets. In her unique way, she explained what makes Snow so special. We try to produce a good product at all times, maybe in that we're only open for a couple of hours on Saturday morning or till noon on Saturday morning, and maybe having an old lady as a pit master. Sure, we could do an entire story and just the food at any of these places. It's amazing. You move to Austin, barbecue is a culture. But the real joy is meeting the people behind the pits, the ones responsible for the experience. That's what makes Central Texas barbecue stand out. So signing off for the last time on this tour, Michael Perchik, KVU News Weekend Nightbeat. And I saw Michael after all of those pit stops. He fell into a meat coma shortly after doing this story. To check out Michael and Andy's full barbecue tour, you can log on to this story at kvu.com.